Jeepers Creepers, where'd you get those, yikes, itchy, runny, and puffy eyes? Can you even see out of those things? Your eyes are your windows to the soul, and when they're all gunked up, well, that's no good. But how do you know when your pretty peepers are just dealing with a bout of seasonal allergies, or if it's something more serious, like an eye infection? I guess you could say things are getting pretty serious. I'm Tori, Parade's resident health guru, and the Cleveland Clinic gave me everything I need to answer these medical questions. This is the TMI Show. Burning red eyes can run the range from frustrating to painful, but before you start squeezing drops in there quite yet, you may want to consider if you just need glasses. Yep, sometimes simple eye strain causes red burning eyes, so go get your eyes checked if you don't have any other symptoms, especially if you find yourself squinting at the fine print. Personally, I think glasses are stylish. Another fairly common cause of eye issues is allergies. Whether it's ragweed, pet dander, dust mites, or more, no matter the culprit, allergens affect eyes in the same way. When an irritating substance gets into a person's body, our immune system reacts. Inflammatory cells in the tissue, called mast cells, release histamine to fight off the allergens. The histamine causes blood vessels in the eyes to enlarge and stimulates peripheral nerves, which makes your eyes red, watery, and itchy. Red, dry, itchy, gritty, irritated, burning eyes. Remember those eye drops? It may be time to bust them out. If your doc agrees that your eye issues are caused by allergies, there are specific eye drops that prevent the allergic reaction by acting as histamine blockers and anti-inflammatory agents. Anti-redness drops don't work in the same way. They constrict blood vessels and help get rid of that bloodshot look. They may make you appear less like you've pulled an all-nighter or been on a bender, but they're only supposed to be used occasionally and don't address the underlying problem. Using them too many days in a row could actually make redness and irritation worse. That's what's called the rebound effect. A rebound? Yeah. So if your eyes are looking like a long haul trucker trying to make it to Amarillo before dawn, It's time to talk to your doc to find out what's going on. In general, eye infections have a longer list of symptoms than allergies. They both cause redness, itchiness, burning, and sometimes clear, watery discharge. You and I call them tears. But infections are more likely to be painful, make you sensitive to light, have a gritty feeling, and can sometimes produce a thicker or more mucousy discharge. The bottom line is, if you're in pain and your tears more than teary, it's probably an infection. <laughs> Eye infections can be caused by viruses, bacteria, parasites, or fungi. Have you met my friend, Mr. Mushroom? He's a fun guy. <laughs> Infectious conjunctivitis, also known as pink eye, is probably the most famous of eye infections. It's common during cold and flu season. Holy crap, what happened? You got pink eye. Viruses like the common cold and bacteria like these guys. Staphylococcus aureus, Haemophilus influenzae, Streptococcus pneumonia, Pseudomonas triceratops, all cause conjunctivitis. Viruses cause most cases of pink eye in adults, but there's about an equal chance that pink eye in kids is bacterial or viral. Although the symptoms of pink eye can be the same regardless of cause, discharge from the eye is usually more of a sign of a bacterial infection. While bacterial infections require antibiotics, viral infections generally clear up on their own in a week or two although they can do lasting damage that could affect your vision if you don't get proper treatment. <laughs> don't go playing doctor yourself. If your eye is red or in any way bothersome, see a real eye doctor. Well, that sounds simple enough. Let's just do that. Have you ever had a sty? If you have, you probably got a red puffy eye. A sty, or chalazion, is just a bacterial infection in an eyelid oil gland and looks like a tender red bump at the edge of your eyelids, kinda like an eyesit. 
Treatment is prescription antibiotic drops and other doctor recommended stuff, not popping. Sometimes dry, red, or irritated eyes come and go, and they're not much of a problem. But if your eye problems don't go away, you may have a medical problem that needs attention. One possibility is dry eye, a condition that's often caused by chronic inflammation of the ocular surface, but can be caused by other conditions like rheumatoid arthritis. We need tears to keep our eyes healthy and comfortable. And when eyes don't produce enough or produce tears that lack lubricating lipids, dry eye is the result. Some people with dry eyes will actually have excess tears running down their cheeks. What you say, that's confusing. I kinda have to agree. But let me explain. When the eye isn't getting enough lubrication, it sends a distress signal to the brain. In response, the eye is flooded with emergency tears. But these reflex tears are mostly water. They'll wash away dirt, but they won't coat the eye surface properly like normal maintenance tears would. If you have dry eye, artificial tears can help soothe your symptoms temporarily, but dry eye progresses over time and research shows these drops alone aren't enough. Your doctor can suggest specially formulated drops and other treatments that target the underlying cause. No matter what's causing your eye issues, your eye doctor can help you find the right treatment and get you the relief you need. If you have a TMI question or a list of other medical terms that sound kind of like Pokemon, I drop them in the comments or send us an email at tmiquestions at parade.com. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.